There are some Republicans in Idaho that believe that if a child attends a private school, state funding for that child should follow that child to the private school. Others are concerned that putting state money into private schools would damage Idaho's public schools. Do you support state funding in private schools? Well, I believe the answer to the last question should have made that clear, but just in case anyone is wondering, no, I do not support taxpayer dollars going towards private schools. I do support parents having the choice, as they do under Idaho law, to send their child to the school of their choice and to pursue the education that they believe best suits their child. Ultimately, the obligation of this state, as it resides in the Constitution, is to provide that public uniform education, not private education, where we lack the accountability to be able to follow through and not only see how those taxpayer dollars are spent, but also the outcomes from that child's education. If you want to talk about having accountability in the school system, you need to have that accountability throughout whatever you're providing. And so far, I haven't seen any indication that the proposals for those taxpayer dollars to go into private education come with any sort of accountability on that score. So if I'm looking at long term, what I see for the potential in Idaho is if we go in and we make Idaho schools competitive. We make Idaho schools what we want them to be so that as they figure out what they want to do going forward, be it vocational, uh, uh, training, apprenticeships, whatever that might be, that we're figuring out the path in our K-12 system that supports them going forward, including going on to a traditional four-year college. We want our kids to have options, and I believe that our teachers are fully equipped within the system that we have for our public schools to make that possible. But we have to ensure that we're supporting them in a way that gives them the flexibility to adapt to meet the needs of their student body. And right now, I don't believe that we have accommodated them as much as we could. And I look forward to returning to the Idaho House to work on those issues and to ensure that educators, students, and parents are listened to and that we produce uh, an opportunity for them in our school system that helps them feel confident going forward that when they leave, they can go out and be successful in the world. Thank you, Mr. Nate. Thank you. Uh, my concern is for the children. I'm not concerned about preserving a system or preserving a, a method of payments. I'm concerned about children getting the best education and the best education options that are available to them. And school choice has been proven to do that, like I said in my last answer. It has been good for students, it has been good for teachers, it has been good for parents. Um, school choice, uh, it, if you oppose school choice, what you're saying is that somebody who wants another option besides public school should have to pay for education twice. They should have to pay through it, for it through their taxpayer dollars and then pay for it again with private school tuition. Other states have done school choice. West Virginia just did a, an expanded model of school choice. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Other states have tried and successfully implemented school choice without threatening their constitutional principles, and it has been great for students. And so I understand the opposition to school choice because it upsets the paradigm. But when the paradigm, and we look at Idaho schools, reading scores, science scores, and math scores, K through three, K through five, have been flat or declining despite the increase in the spending that we're dedicating towards education. Now, if we let that spending follow the student and they can find the best opportunity and schools can innovate and compete with one another to make the best education opportunity possible, I think we'll see better results for students and for parents and for teachers who will now have schools competing for their good works too. Thank you.